Hey everyone, time for uh, more layout updates. So I've had some free time and motivation. I've actually got a lot of progress done on the layout here over the past week or so, which is cool. I mentioned these in my last video. These are super trees by Scenic Express that, that I made. They're the kit you buy comes, you know, it's a uh, whatever the weed is that they, they harvest and put in the box basically that has a you know really good kind of tree-like structure. And then I buy the super leaves and I, you know, basically glue those on there. So I just follow their instructions to, to making these. I know there's a lot of different ways you could do them. But, you know, I, I pull them out of the box and kind of trim them to how I want them to look. And then I straighten them, uh, paint them black, or just kind of a, a dark sea gray I think I was using for these. And then you dip them in a uh, diluted solution of matte medium. And then you sprinkle the super leaves on them. And then spray a little bit more matte medium on top to make them stick. And uh, they turned out really well. I'm really happy with them. I touched up some of them just with some yellow spray paint and kind of on the top just to give them some color variation. doesn't really show up much here. i got to improve the lighting here at the layout. It's on my list too. But... I've been really happy with them. Uh, I think they look really good, and like I said, it's now that I've got the kit, which is you know it's 60 bucks or something to get the materials. You know, I, mean, I can probably make another 50, 60 of these trees with that kit if I wanted to. But uh, that's where they are right now in terms of placement. I don't know if I'm actually going to leave them where you see them. I'm just kind of sticking them around and, and figuring that part out. But um, this area here of this layout, the chemical facility, in the real world, this the where that facility sits, there's kind of an empty lot here, and that's kind of how I modeled in my layout. Where you know the, the line comes in, then splits into the facility, which is kind of what you see right there. And outside of this area, it's really kind of heavily trees, uh, foresty area with lots of trees. And that's kind of the look I was going for. Again, I need more trees here to kind of mimic that, but that was kind of the inspiration for this scene. Now back here, I'm probably not going to leave them um, or put too many because I want to be able to see through back to the, the trains that are running there. That's where a lot of the switching occurs for these back uh, industries here on the layout. So I don't want that view to be completely obscured, but. Uh, I'll let a few more in there, and then I need all the ground cover too. I need, you know, bushes and, and more tall grass and stuff to blend it all in so it doesn't just look like they're sitting on a, a freshly mowed field there. But a lot to do, but just, again, uh, progress for that, which I've been happy with. So moving on to the PBS Noel Wood Chemical Facility. So I've got the fence all uh, kind of just staged here. I need to drill holes and put it all down for the perimeter there. And this is the 3D printed fence I talked about just to save time. So I just modeled up a simple fence, SolidWorks, printed it out, glued the screen to it, or the, uh, whatever the, the thule material, I can't remember what it's called, to it that everyone uses, basically. And it turned out pretty well. I still need to paint it all. It's not painted yet. Um, I'm not going to add barbed wire to this, too, again, just for time savings. I was able to make all this really quick, you know, an hour worth of work versus, you know, a tremendous amount of time doing the wire method, which I, you know, think looks better, but this was easier. So for now, just to get it done, that's kind of what I went with. And once it's all placed and painted and weathered, I think it'll look pretty good. Um, also at the facility, I built this little kit here. This is a uh, Walther's kit. It's supposed to be a, uh, like an oil filling station, I believe. So I'm using it here at the chemical station or at the, uh, the facility here because it kind of fits and you know i don't know if they'll actually be loading cars here but but why not so i'll stick it there i still need to paint it more and weather it and do everything else and extend these pipes down probably run them into the side of the building behind it there or something but um that'll just be one piece of, of scenery here for the facility but uh, the signal bridge too here i've got sitting at the front this is a bridge that uh it's a kit that i bought probably i don't even know a long time ago but i want to have it here on the layout because i want to have some signals especially for here it'll be for the main which it'll be kind of protecting that switch, then the siding emerges back into it there. So here in the Midwest, typically we use, I mean, with CSX and all the railroads they inherited, they used all sorts of different signal types. But for this, I'm going to use the typical um, searchlight style signals because that's what I mostly see around. I've always seen around the area that I live. So I'm going to put searchlight signals on this. And this signal bridge, too, is actually an older style. If you look at the truss structure of it, uh, it's a very old bridge, probably from a long time ago. But... I actually found some pictures uh, probably taken within the last 10 years just online searching around where I think I found the exact model this bridge was, uh, at least the, initial, the prototype for this, that this model was made after. It looks pretty much identical. So at least I have video, you know, actual picture representation that it was used by CSX and some railroads here in the, the Midwest or the East Coast. So I'm not sure exactly if I'll paint this one black or if I'll paint it silver to make it look more modern. I'm not going to build the kit exactly to how the kit was. I'll kit bash the rest of it and get the signals and the walkways and everything, how kind of I see the ones, at least the picture documentation I have looks like. So I'll make it look somewhat modern maybe. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. But that'll be a whole project by itself. And the signal controls uh, electronics too. I'm going to do all that myself. 
um, just because it's fun and I want to do it. So that'll be a whole other project too that I've actually started working on a little bit and that will be fun. But uh, in the back here, I just started staging some plastic for the buildings and industries I'm going to have here in the back. Um, this will be another industry back here that is serviced by rail. And then I'm going to have a couple buildings along here just to fill along the backdrop. Um, that's kind of what will be there. Mostly probably be, I mean, Detroit's got a lot of inspirational buildings, especially going around downtown. Um, they're just abandoned and just really cool designs and architecture and just looking at the, the styles of them. That's kind of what the inspiration I'm going over for these is. So that'll be projects later. <clears throat> and then this facility too, again, I've talked about this a few times, just need to get it painted. My little fixes there I think have held up fine, so I'm just going to paint it and then go from there on that. So that's kind of all the updates I have right now. Much more to do. I'll be running some more operations too because that was fun. And that's all I've got for now. Thank you for watching.